Silver traded bearish for the complete last week, achieving lower highs and lower lows and 24-30 levels. Remember, this is a trend line which it is following since long and I have been telling you in my analysis as well that here is a stronger resistance and achieving 24-30 levels, it has dropped since then. Also, remember, it has failed to break past the next resistance at 24.50. It is, in fact, did not try to achieve those levels. Now, look at last and before we proceed with the complete analysis, do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which will keep you updated from with the daily analysis and targets for silver. Also, if you want to learn the art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship badge. Reach out to me for more details. Let's start. First, we look into candlestick charts followed with indicators and towards the end, I will give you the trading analysis and levels. So, first, let's have a look at the chart. Now see, last week I told you if it breaks past 24.50, you can expect a stronger bull run. It failed to do so, traded completely bearish here. In fact, achieved lower lows at 22.80, which is definitely a good support here. Now, if you look at the last two candles, lower highs, lower lows. So, it is trying to create a channel of its own. On the upside, you can say 24.30 is again going to be the limit beyond which you can expect that the silver should be considered for a reversal and then only about 2460 you can expect that it is going to fly past 24 25 50 26 dollar levels also now ne last few weeks almost couple of months we have seen silver only trading in this box you can say one two three four and almost two two months complete two months eight weeks it is trading sideways it is waiting for a breakout and we have to wait further for it to give a confirmation of a breakout either which ways. Now that is the first part. Second part is this is the high line and this is the long term trend line which silver is following. You can see this and it is still getting the resistance at the same levels and this is a bearish channel. You can see this. This is a bearish channel. So this also is a possibility for a reversal indication if and only if it trades below 22. Now, that is the level below which only I will confirm that it is trying to trade bearish and then 21 levels will be seen there. That is the first part. Now, let's have a look also on the weekly charts. One more observation is increasing bearishness here. The body size is increasing in nature and also sharper tails there, which means that there could be a possibility of a sharper red candle also, which means the Fed, uh, uh, the interest rate hike decision coming from the US from Fed, which definitely will bring a volatility in the markets and whichever direction it breaks out, it is going to be a stronger direction, which it will take here for a little while. Now, this is on the weekly charts. Let's have a look at the daily charts. Now, look at the daily charts. On the daily charts too, the long-term trend line has proven out to be a very good resistance and then 24, uh, 50, 24, 60 levels had given it a very good resistance. Then $24, then $23.50. So see, every 50 cents, you can say silver is getting the resistance. Right now, it is trading in this block of 24.50 and 23.50 levels with most of the times, well, it has spent most of the time in between this level, that is $23.50 to $24. It tried to break out for some time on the upside it tried to break out on the downside for some time however most of the time it has spent in the same zone between 2350 and 24 at the same time on the daily charts one can say see 23 dollars as the support 23 uh, 20 23 30 levels as the support now 2350 as the support so increasing base there that is also a good indication that it is trying to trade bullish however Look at that candles there, $24 giving it a maximum resistance, maximum candles getting reversed from the same dollar, same level. This time also we had seen the same happening. Now look at the daily charts. Last two candles here, lower lows, lower highs were seen. This is also a flat bottom here. It failed to break past on the downside, 2340, 2320 levels, which is a very strong support zone. So once you see it trading about $24 next week, you can expect that we may see it again hitting $24.30 and $24.50 level. And any which way is about $24.60, you can stay long in silver and then you can expect $25, $25.50 and $26 levels also. So it has to break past this zone, it has to come out of the box, it has to come out of this block in order to give a clear indication. At the same time, you can sell at 23.40 and expect 23.20, $23. Now, once it trades below 23, the next target is going to be 22.80 and 
एंड इफ इट ब्रेक्स बिलो ट्वेंटी टू फिफ्टी स्टे शॉर्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन सी ट्वेंटी टू इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी गुड सपोर्ट येस इट हैज़ अ पॉसिबिलिटी टू कम्प्लीट और फिल दिस गैप फिल दिस स्पेस also if you see lower lows were seen when the week started we have seen a sharper drop so this also increases the probability that it can fill this complete space before taking a direction again so you have to remain cautious of this if it breaks below 2350 and you can expect 2340 and then 23 levels you can expect that a sharper drop might take it till towards 2250 22 dollar levels that is the first part to it now About twenty four, anyways, it is to be considered bullish. Now, also, let's have a look at the monthly chart. Now, see, after giving three strong bullish candles, silver has tried to consolidate a bit. Here, also, you can see higher lows, higher highs are seen. So, it is still not showing the bearishness, though the candle is red. However, higher highs are achieved. Now, the highs are also very well aligned with the top line or this trend line, which is a bearish channel. and yes if it sustains about 2450 2460 levels in the month of february you can stay long at least 26 and beyond that beyond those levels can also be expected now what it is trying to do a rise retracement and a rise so probably it can come back till towards this and it can break past these levels also you should be cautious here now on the downside as i said till the time it trades about 22 do not consider this as bearish yes the new monthly candle will will start this week with the interest rate hike also on the 1st of february so two key driving factors and that will definitely try to decide the direction if silver draws below 22 then only i will consider that it is trying to trade bearish this is a little far however uh, 1 and 1/2 dollars for silver is not a big deal it can cover up in two days itself so till 22 we should not consider this as bearish and on the upside till 24 60 2450 levels do not consider this as bullish now higher highs higher lows in silver means yes 25 dollar levels is the next resistance zone and beyond that we may see it hitting 26 also so once it trades beyond 2460 you can expect 25 dollars as the first target and then 2550 2560 is definitely going to remain achievable in the month of february now we have seen the charts let's have a look the, at the indicators here indicators on the daily charts if you look at see the 20 and 50 period moving averages is started to cut indicate that the bull, bullishness is diminishing here at the same time the 50 and 100 period moving average continue to diverge indicating long term bullishness and if you look at the directional movement here is bearish also remember on the downside now see first resistance it is broken however this zone till 23 Forty twenty three twenty is going to be a very good support, and only if it breaks below twenty three dollar levels, you can expect further bearishness, which might take it for twenty two fifty, twenty two forty, and twenty two dollar levels. See directional movement increasingly bearish. Stock I S T has seen a little retracement and again trying to look downwards. The MACD is consistently trading bearish, probably though it has an opportunity for it to continue further, but. let's see if it tries to converge and trade bullish rsi looking down on the daily charts which is showing little weakness there now look at the weekly charts here now interestingly after long time the 20 and 50 period moving averages are appearing to cross over now this zone at 22 certainly be certainly going to remain a very strong support level and only below this a little bearishness will be seen there Also, if you look at the directional movement, is bullish and trying to converge a bit. The stochastic, which was overbought, now trying to look downwards, and whenever it has reversed, it has certainly taken a clear direction for next couple of weeks, and hence probably it can try to trade a little bearish. The MACD is also trying to converge. See, it has seen a probable high there. It is now trying to trade with a diminishing. The candle size is diminishing, and hence. we may see it crossing over and then it can try to trade bearish rsi trying to trade little weak and trying to look downwards here now let's have a look at the monthly charts on the monthly charts so the 2250 22 dollar levels are going to remain a very very good support and if you look at the directional movement this is crossed over this is trading with moderate bullish bias here the stock elastic is which was trading oversold has come to overbought zone and possibly the next candle will decide its direction the macd on the monthly charts is on the verge of a bullish crossover here which means 
that it requires couple of green candles in silver then we may see it trading continue in the bullish zone for next few months so this is a very strong indication this is a very strong crossover now this is happening after long time here it was trading in the sell side for now and now it is looking forward to continue with the bullish movement i will be definitely watchful of this rsi trading flat here so now considering this we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to define the level set strategy for you to profit next week and before we proceed yes if you want to learn the art of trading profitably you should you should equip yourself with the right tools techniques and strategies which can help you become a profitable and proficient trader help you identify and analyze the trade analyze the uh, trades as how we do identify the right trades at the right time that is an art so join the mentorship batch 19 which is going to start on 6th of february do not miss this opportunity equip yourself with the right learning reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description now next week if you see it trading above 2375 you can buy then 2390 24 dollar levels this is going to be very very good resistance zone trading about 24 24 10 is first and then 24 30 now only about 24 30 we can expect a little more bullishness and then we can see 24 50 24 60 now why this nearby levels because uh, still the direction will not remain clear for silver only about 24 dollar there is little bullishness you can say i will go 60 percent bullish 65 percent bullish if it trades about 24 dollar levels if it trades about 24 30 i will uh, remain 75 percent bullish and below beyond 24 60 i will remain 100 percent bullish my next target is going to be 25 then 25 50 and then 26 dollar levels in the month of february itself or in next few days itself so uh, remember this any this should be considered a breakout if it trades about 24 60 levels and then beyond 25 certainly more bullishness can be expected on the downside way to sell right now it's at 23 60 you can sell at 23 40 levels below which 23 20 and 23 dollar levels now this is going to remain a very very good support it will, till 23 and in fact below that 2280 is the next target if it breaks this you can expect 2250 2240 now and 22 this is going to remain the target you see with the news it can achieve that in a week also and uh, our probably taking a direction this week it can achieve that in the next few weeks that is in the month of february or till middle of february so the possibility exists that it can if it trades below 2280 you can expect 2250 22 dollar levels which is going to make it increasingly bearish below 23 dollar levels so take your trades accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a tailing stop loss join my mentorship by join my signals group keep booking your profits at every milestone and continue your trades so uh, reach out to me for my mentorship batch or singles group my telegram ids and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading week ahead thank you